Okay, this is part two. We're going to put in our materials now, okay? To put in the materials, all you have to do is M for materials, okay? Remember that, M. So as soon as you hit M, you get your material editor. Now, your material editor might be different depending on your version of 3ds Max, okay? So for design, it will have, instead of standard, it will say architectural, okay? But we always want to use standard. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit architectural and change it to standard, okay? From there, you're going to go and you're going to select diffuse, this little box next to diffuse here. And you're going to go to bitmap. And there, you're going to find your reference. So I'm going to start with front. And then I'm going to select my front plane and I'm going to apply using assign material to selection and it's going to go gray like that. Now if it does that, all you have to do is hit show standard map in viewport. And there it is. I'm going to do my next view next. I'm going to select a new sample slot. These right here, these spheres are called sample slots. Okay. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to go to diffuse. I'm going to go to bitmap. And this one, I'm going to select the side. And I'm going to apply it. I'm going to hit show st map standard in viewport. And then I'm going to do my last one here. Hit the diffuse box. When you hover over it, it should say none. Go to bitmap. And I'm going to select top image. I'm going to select my top plane here. And I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to give it that. Now, if you see this right here, this happens. What it is is that the texture is actually rotated the wrong direction. To fix the rotation on the texture, all you have to do is go to the W here, under angle, and hit 90. And it'll flip the correct way. All right, that's pretty much it for creating the reference images. Let me go ahead and stop this.